Okay. Let's see if we can get that going today. So, let me grab this. This is that log of Billy Goat Fuzz. Someone was asking me, because nothing drops down, like the sides don't come apart or anything on my molds, how do you get the soap out of the mold? <clears throat> well, I wiggle it out. It's, now, watch this one make me a liar, but generally, you can kind of feel it in there after it's sat for a day or two. It does come out better, at least my recipe and stuff, if I let it sit a little longer, but which has been happening a lot, but I just, I leave flaps on the sides that are like doubled up wax paper or freezer paper. It's just whatever I remember to grab um, when I'm at the store. But I leave the flaps on the sides and I just pull on them. And generally, the trick is patience, Grasshopper. Just like that. Comes right out. And I don't have any problems. Like I said, every now and then I get one that's a little softer, so on and so forth, whatnot, etc. And then I have to wait another day. But for the most part, everything just kind of comes right out. And then I pick all my paper off. And every now and then I have a little bit that sticks on the end and is a pain in my butt. But that's okay. the edges up with my handy dandy vegetable peeler before I start cutting because if nothing else it makes it easier later the long edges now are going to be short edges later <laughs> and so yeah it's easier to clean up your soaps when they've sat around and hardened and cured a little bit however It's easier to do long stuff than short. Thusly, I have tact when the timing is right. And it saves me a little bit of time in the long run. I have my handy dandy tray of scraps here that will either become laundry detergent, even though I make like a liquid laundry detergent out of Dawn most times. But if I run short and I've got a tray of scraps, we're good to go. Or I will send them to clean the world when the timing is right. So I've got all my little paper towels down, but little flakes of soap fall. So yeah, we'll get this one cut up and see what we got in the middle. I did more of a spoon swirl with this one or a saline swirl as they call it. Because Celine, I suppose, is the one that, uh, I don't know if she necessarily invented it, but she sure did make it popular with her videos. And she does just the most beautiful stuff. Oh, that's cool. I'm sure it'll turn brown. Right now it's very orangey. But check that out. She just does the most beautiful stuff with her soaps. I mean, she's absolutely amazing. There's no getting around that. Like, she is just an awesome soaper. So, and I have to admit, it really is a super easy technique, and stuff comes out very nice. Let's see what we got here. The scale, of course, is in front of the camera again. But that gives you a chance to kind of sort of look at stuff a little bit. Nice, hefty five point <clears throat> something ounce bars. 5.3 on that one. I don't expect them to all be exactly the same. Mostly because my top tends to get, like that one's 5.4, but look at that. My tops tend to get a little wimpy. They're not quite perfect. Like this one's heaped up a little and mounded, not a ton because it was still soft, but it just left the neatest little traces in it. Let's see if I can get you one to look at. I'm trying to see. But 
even still if you if you look closely because nothing is quite level. Sometimes my top slant, if that makes any sense. And my husband will tell you, I'm not good at making anything level or straight or true or square. Like, that's just not my specialty. Um, but, yeah, this one smells wonderful. And I had a few drops of fragrance oil left that I popped on. I have a little wax melt burner thing. And the scent had kind of frittered out on those. So, the little tarts that I had in there. So, I just popped a couple drops of that on there. My house has smelled like coffee, even though it's too hot for coffee, if you ask me. Since I made this yesterday. And I didn't do a video making it. Only because I had already done a video making it. And I thought, well, we don't need to see that twice. But if y'all want to see stuff twice, you can let me know be happy to oblige. Of course, it's going to take several days post making this to get them uploaded. It literally takes, sometimes the internet moves super fast, and sometimes, most times, it does not. On average, it literally takes me like two hours to upload a few minutes worth of, I just put a chunk in there, um, a few minutes worth of video. Seriously. You know, because first, if not three, really, because I do the videos on the camera phone, and then I've got the phone set up where it sends it to the computer automatically. It sends it to something on Google. And there's probably a quicker way to make this happen, but the reality is I'm not smart enough. Like, I'm smart enough to figure out soap and goats and horses and poultry and cooking and cheese, pigs. You name it, I can figure it out. But, give me something like the internet, no dice. So, I mean, don't get me wrong, like, I'm getting pretty good at some of this stuff. These are so cool. However, and these are a little soft still. I really probably should have waited. I mean, these aren't even 24 hours old yet, and I'm cutting them. But I'm not that kind of patient. You have no idea. So, yeah, anyways. There we are. Those are so cool. I love how those came out. And I think when this turns more brown, the orange color that it is, it'll just look really neat. Oh, I'm excited. But, yeah. First, what I was saying is, first it goes from the phone to Google, something I have on Google. These are the, and they're super soft. These are like, not even 12 hours old. We're going to go for it. Uh, it goes from the phone to Google. Okay. That takes a while. And then... I have to download it, and there's, like I said, there's probably a better way, but I'm just not having any luck figuring it out. It took me forever to figure out how to download it to my computer and save it. And then I pull that on YouTube and upload it to YouTube. Like I said, there's probably a million easier ways. This is just, it took me forever to figure out this way. So, and it for now is what works. And maybe somewhere along the list, though much lower in priority, along the list of, uh, these always just come out so cute. But yeah, somewhere along the priorities list. Let's see what we got. These will actually turn a dark tan really pretty creamy tan. Okay, that's not bad. But, yeah, right now, list of priorities. Got fencing that needs done. Tires that need putting on the truck. Uh, what else? Well, that's going to whack that one off. What else? Food. Not bad. 
a little shorter, but not much. Um, Mama wants a slab mold with dividers and all. Like the complete real deal. So that's coming. But, yeah. Video camera, tripod, these are way low on the list. This setup works. Is it great? No. Could it be better? Yes. That one's going to be a little shorty bar. No, not bad either. But until I tackle some of these other farm chores, if you will. And this one, I always get, when I do it this way, I always get these little shorty bars. So that'll be a fun little sample bonus for someone eventually. But, yes, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, until I get all that tackled. For real camera, not a real high priority. And that's okay, you know. go ahead and keep keep on keeping on because that's the other thing it's just the camera on the phone it's nothing frou-frou so I'm not good at like other people can pause their cameras and blah 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 yeah no if I have that ability I haven't figured it out yet and even still considering that I've got the phone propped up against an olive oil can <laughs> with um, my scale I can't get to the button anyways if it did do pause and all these for the things. I'd be SOL. So, as they say. Which, you know, not the end of the world. But I've got two more after this to cut, which I may skip the little one. I don't know. I'm on a roll. It doesn't take that long. If I bore y'all, you know how to leave. But if you want to stay and listen to me ramble, you are welcome to stay and listen to me ramble. I think those are just so cute with their little cherries on top. That one's got a little piece of another cherry that I need to pick off of there. So, yeah, this one, the cherry almond, hot little mover. And I don't know if it's just because it's cute because it is a cute little bar of soap, or if it's because it smells so good, or if it's some combination, because I happen to think it smells delightful. <clears throat> nice, strong, you know, not overpowering, but it's a nice, healthy cherry scent, which I like. So, there's my little one little odd man out shorty bar that I get. But like I said, those make great little bonuses for people or samples. See the lights flickering? Nothing here has clicked on or off. That is our crummy power doing its thing. Um, the other mold, what I call my redneck slab mold, see if I can get a hold of one without putting a dent in. Now those are going to have to wait. That one has cuter tops. This one did not turn out quite how I wanted. This is sweet grass and cedar. I don't know. I'm torn. I don't know. I mean, maybe I could mix it with something and make it a little better. It's not a bad scent. But my first thought when I sniff of it is somebody just mowed the lawn. You know? Which I suppose sweet grass, hello. That's what I was going to get, right? Not bad, but not great. Not my favorite. We'll see. We'll, we'll see how people react when this one's ready. Might be a love it, might be a hate it. We will find out. Let's see how big we got. 
I put some green swirls in there, but they didn't really pop up. That's not bad. That'll be a good little test run thing there. But I figure a little one pound batch of soap. But yeah, these are still very new and very soft. Like all over the place, very soft. Like going back for another paper towel in a second, they're soft. Someone, I had sent someone a sniffy, like just some, a little dab of that on a cotton ball. And what he said was it needed like vanilla or something. Something sweet would help. So, I don't know, I might mix that with a little bit of that vanilla oak fragrance and see what we get. Little drops of green in there. See if that pops on the camera. It's pretty cool. So, I ended up with four little four something ounce bars of that to test run on. Now, this is the one, this is the piece de resistance. Here, that's my French. Did you get it? That is a remake of Lullaby, what I call Lullaby. That's the bedtime bath do from Nature's Garden. And somehow last night I was having a softer than normal squishy soap night, which I never get. You have no idea. It's just me. And I think it's the weather changing and the humidity and everything else. Um. Which I'm not complaining. But it is warmer. And normally, like in the winter, it's freezing cold in here. Because I'm cheap and I don't run the heater. And <laughs> that's what that boils down to. And uh, like I said, the humidity. Doesn't matter how much I water discount stuff. Things seem to just suck up that moisture from the air when it's as humid as it gets here in East Texas. So, I could do like the most major water discount ever, and I swear they're just going to suck that humidity right out of the air, and it's not going to make a difference. So I might as well put as much goat milk in there as I can. I did discount it a little bit. Because I don't want it to last forever. But you know what I'm saying. It's I'm being facetious a little bit, but not. So, get that lined up, see what we got here. So I ended up doing a holly swirl on this one. Still didn't go all the way to the bottom, I don't think. That's just the end. Let's see what we got a little further up. A little further in there. Let's see what we have. Oh, not bad. That's really pretty. I probably could have swooshed it and swirled it a little bit more, I guess. We'll see. But I am, I'm a chronic over swoosher, I'm a chronic over swirler. So, I was trying to avoid that. That's kind of neat. I like that. Much better than the Billy Goat Buzz did. By far. But I have to get all this up on the shelves in there. As you can see, my table is starting to slowly overflow with soap. Oh, that one went all the way to the bottom. Look at that. Clever. I love the tops. They're really pretty. This one, I don't know. Looks almost like a skeleton's winking at you. Look at that. See the eye and the nose and the creepy smile. That's cool. I'll never get one that nice ever again because I wasn't even planning to do that swirl. I was just going to do a spoon swirl in it. 
the Celine swirl. Because those are pretty easy when your soap is perpetually thick. And I like thick soap. Because when I want to do stuff like piping the cherries on and all that, I don't have to wait. I'm not patient enough. Not going to lie. Oh. Love that one. Love it. So, anyways, I've got a bunch of stuff that's already cured, like the last batch of this still sitting on the shelves and all that. In the soap room, I got to pack up today because we are going to, well, I am going to the market one day this week. Hopefully these will be ready two weekends from now. Because I have a friend that's wanting cherry almond and billy goat fuzz, and those I am really low on. So I told her, give me a couple weeks. If they're hard enough, I'll send them to you. But this time of year, I tend to end up doing way longer cure times because of the humidity. So she lives several states away. Where it's drier, so she can get soaps and have them a couple days, and they're all cured basically for her, which is nice. Yeah, these are super soft still. I told you about that patience thing, I don't have any. I was, when God was passing out patience, I was behind the door and I missed it. But that's okay, because I showed up for brains, I think. I got my brains, I forgot my patience. That's okay. But these came out really neat. Ooh, look at that one. All the way to the bottom. Pretty cool. I'm excited. I'm a happy camper. Doesn't really take much with me, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm easy to please. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to get that other batch of cherry almond cut that I made, but that one is seriously like nowhere near even 12 hours old yet, so it's probably going to have to wait. I was doing good to get it out of the mold mm -hmm. and put these here. So I'll get this mess cleaned up, see if I can pop you all over the top and keep my hand out of the way this time. Get this mess cleaned up, go get all the soap dishes done, which all I did was clear them off the table and set them to soak in. We'll let that one dry a little bit and get it cut. I would say it's been a productive day. <laughs>